Oh, it seems like he Oh my god! Oh, I'm being walked on! Oh, he's gone! What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Today we are jumping back into CSR Racing 2, and we're taking a look at some more 70th anniversary Ferrari stuff. Once again, props to the guys over at Natural Motion for sponsoring this video and giving us this Ferrari for this video. Let's let's jump into it and see what we can do. If you missed it, last time we drove around in the Ferrari 488 GTB. If you missed that video, I'll link to it down below. But today, there is a brand new Ferrari out with some brand new events. So if we go over here, we have the Ferrari California T, and it is looking kind of interesting. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but let's jump straight in, do some races. There are some brand new events for this guy, and then we'll jump back, do some crate openings, because I know there were a bunch of people who wanted me to do that, so we'll do some of that as well. I've been playing in between the two episodes as well, and I've unlocked a couple more things. Uh, I got a Mercedes um, A45 AMG as well, so props to me for that. I just opened a crate and I got that in it. Anyways, let's take a look at this Ferrari. This is my first time jumping into it, and we are going to try our best. Wow, what a shocking st- Wow! That was like five seconds of wheel spin straight off the line. So, like I said, this is my first time jumping into this Ferrari uh, in this game. We have no upgrades on it, i.e. why we're gonna lose. Actually, why we're gonna lose is because I'm not very good at this game. And I managed to wheel spin the first five goddamn seconds. All right, if we could actually nail it. The problem with these is they, this one's actually not as bad, but they rev so quickly. All right, there we go. There's a better start. Yes, we should get this one. No problem. Thank you very much. Oh, man, the other California is actually closing in a lot. Am I gonna have enough? Yes, I will. All right, cool. So we can actually get some upgrades going on this thing. I've been going in and opening up, like, I've been getting my free daily crates and stuff like that. So, I, so I've got, I've got a bunch of stuff in here. Did I say daily crates? I meant daily Jerry bonuses. So I've gone in and got a bunch of those. So I've got a bunch of parts for a bunch of different cars, which is pretty cool. But I know, I know so, so many of you guys wanted me to go in and open up some crates. So that is what we are going to do. Let's see if we can get something. Whoa, no way. A rarity car. What did I get? Oh, shit. C63, thank you very much for the brand new car. Much appreciated. All right, let's go open up another one. Is there anything else cool that I can win? Are there any more cars? There's a Dodge Viper. If I can get a Dodge Viper, that'd be pretty dope. Like, I've just been saving these up for a really, really long time. So... That's a funny looking Dodge Viper. I know, I know Fiat owns Dodge. But I didn't know they changed up the design that much. Just saying. <laughs> let's, uh, let's try that one again. Hmm. That's a really funny looking Dodge Viper again. <laughs> God damn it. All right, we gotta go one more. I don't want to give up on this Viper. This is actually my last one. Oh, why do I get a Veloster? The car's lopsided. You want to know an interesting fact about the Hyundai Veloster? When it first came out, I thought it was like the coolest car ever. I'm like, that thing, like, I, I've always been a Golf GTI fan, obviously. I have one in this game and it's very purple. But I saw this come out and I was like, this is going to be really awesome. But you can see there's a problem with it. Two doors on this side and on this side, shit, go back, go back, go back. There's only one door. The car's lopsided and that ruined it for me. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's do some upgrading to our Ferrari here. These upgrades are pretty expensive, but I think it will be worth it. So let's get those tires. We were wheel spinning off the line way, way too much. So let's get that. That's for sure. Then maybe toss on some nitrous. Nitrous is always important as well. Let's get some fusion parts going because I, I do have quite a few of them. Let's keep it going. We're going up against a uh, another beetle here today. There were so many people who were like, you just called a Porsche beetle, unsubscribed. I'm, I'm just gonna say, I like Porsches, and I like Beetles, so, uh, deal with it. Not really an insult. Alright, yeah, we're really fast now. N no more five seconds of wheel spin with our, our two level up of upgraded tires. The little Beetle's gone. Oh, wow, he's actually catching a lot. Not enough. Should probably shift. There we go. My upgrades help so much there. So, I want to keep getting these fusion parts, but I mean, I mean, keys are, keys are good too. Yeah, these are half mile races. So, 17 seconds for a half mile. I guess for a road car is not bad. I mean, that's pretty good. Is that a Maserati? Oh, another poor start. I've not nailed one of these. Did I not use my nitrous last race? <laughs> I got all my fancy new nitrous and I just didn't use it. Whoops. Anyways, that Maserati's properly quick. Huh. Oh! Oh, we almost got him. That was like him in front. We closed back in. Ah, oh, 
That was that was close. That was close. That was close. All right, upgrades. Let's get some new ones fitted. So we need some more top speed. So let's go with some engine upgrades. Engine I just find is more efficient than our turbo. Cause like, okay, wait. Well, for that first one, it gave us like 18 more horsepower, and the turbo only gives us nine. That's not enough. I really want to nail one of these like launches though. This car just seems much harder to drive. I just can't can't lock it in on this thing. There we go. Finally. The, the one time when I'm saying, yeah, I'm having a lot of trouble. There we go. Oh, perfect race. Thank you very much. I'm just going to need to remember to shift up. Our, our, our fifth gear shift up, or our, our fourth to fifth, is earlier than you'd expect. Wow, we get all the way up to sixth gear in this. Surprising. Anyways, that wasn't too difficult. That Maserati is actually quicker than I was expecting. 17.5 for half a mile. That's pretty good. I'm good with that. All right, so we're getting four grand. Plus, we're getting... Oh, wow. 15 grand. Very nice. Thanks, game. Here's one of the downsides about this car, though. I, I do like the California T. However, you can't actually customize it. It says this car cannot be customized except the license plate. It has a fixed set of options. And if you ask me, I don't like the paint of this car. It reminds me of that a clown, basically. It, if you've seen that. Like, I'm just saying a blue one, like a dark navy blue. Would have been so nice. All right, so we're up against a C63. I don't think we'll have any trouble with him unless he's got some like major upgrades. No! Ah, I messed up my start. I tried to click it at the last second there. It didn't work. Okay, come on. Let's run away from the C63. Is that a C63 black actually? He's got a little wing on the back there. Anyways, keep going. Keep going. Whoa, he's gaining. He's gaining. Keep pulling, little Ferrari. Yes! That's, see, that one was so much easier than the Maserati one. All right, so four grand for that. Plus, if we can get some more fusion parts, I'm just going to say that would be up. Ooh, tokens. Thank you. Maybe we need to go in and, and open up some more crates, but it's like, urgh, we have, I mean, we have bronze ones. And it's just like, I know we're going to get like one Ferrari part, if that. Like, we get Bentley, we get Volkswagen, we get, oh, we got Ferrari engine part. Okay. Take that back. All right, well, I guess we'll get stage two engine going. Get up to nearly 600 horsepower. And then I guess we'll keep racing. Ooh, versus an NSX. Yeah, I see this. why, why this one's a hard one. All wheel drive, dual engines versus my cruising Ferrari. Ah, wheel spin. Yeah, we might want to get more tires again. It's just like our tires don't seem super grippy. I mean, 600 horsepower. A lot of tires are going to have trouble gripping off the line. But... No! No, that NSX is insanely fast. He was a lot slower off the line than I was expecting, but damn, that top speed was was faster than I thought it would be. I mean, yeah, he's got a fair amount of upgrades, though. Damn it. And let's fit our fusion part on there. Okay, cool. Thank you. We need new tires, though. Thank you. Yeah, let's get more nitrous and an intake. Then we should have everything, I think, on level one. Then if we need to, we can toss some more fusion parts on. We won't need to do that for right now, though. I doubt it. All right, little NSX. Boom! Perfect start. Absolutely nailed the lot. Oh, early shift. Damn it. Whoa, my car's shooting flames like crazy. Keep pulling, little Ferrari. That NSX is coming back. Not enough, though. Is that going to be sub 17 seconds? I don't think so, but it felt a lot faster. Whoa, 17.2. Yeah, it definitely felt a little bit faster. So that was a mystery prize one. We are getting for that one... 21 grand. Thank you, paying for my upgrades. Oh, no. A GTR. Yeah, I see why this one was challenging. Now, this one seems like the difficulty's cranked up. I'm just saying. Oh, my God, that launch. All right, goodbye, GTR. Maybe you won't have an insane top speed. I can only hope. Yeah, we're not... Oh, oh, we're pulling him in. Not enough. I forgot to shift at the end there. I always forget to go up to sixth gear. I wish we could change the gear. Maybe we should change the gear ratios. Oh man, it's so far. Can't afford it, it's 90 grand. Yeah, we can't afford that. All right, let's get some fusion parts though on our on our transmission here. But man, we're not gonna be able to tune our gears. I was hoping we'd be able to, so then we could just like not have to shift up to sixth gear because I felt like that was slowing me down a little bit. It's just unnecessary. I think this GTR might smoke us again though, even with our faster transmission. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. 
Oh, we get off the line pretty well. We're gonna need a sub 17 seconds, I think, to beat this guy. Oh, and there's the speed kicking in. Come on, we need some more power. Yeah, this is the shift that always gets me. There we go. It's like hitting VTech in a Ferrari pan. Thank you very much. That was awesome. That felt a lot quicker there. That little pull at the end was pretty damn quick. All right, that went well. That went very well. But I mean, that was pretty hard at the, at the end of the day. So what's this next one? All right, we get some keys. Yo, we just get thrown stuff. It's insane. This is a really, really... Oh, is that a 911R? I did not know there was a 911R in this game. That's also a very, very cool spec. All right, let's... uh. Perfect start. Thank you. Wow, that 911R is not quick off the line. Hopefully he doesn't have insane power. Oh, it seems like he did. Oh my god. Oh, I'm being walked on. Oh, he's gone. How? How is that even possible? So yeah, that tells me we need, we need a bit of power. Holy crap. Oh man, we can't afford anything. We can afford an intake, but that only gives us six. So we go up to 603 horsepower. Okay, we're gonna need to fit all of our fusion parts now, please. We may have cocked up a bit by spending all of our money on our stupid transmission that we couldn't actually tune. Oh, good start, okay. We get off the line so quick. Look at those flames coming out the back. All right, a Mr. 911R is gaining a lot. Wow. Oh my God, he just walks on us. What's his speed cross the line? Let's take a look. His speed is 165. He's doing 10 miles an hour faster than me across the line. That's insane. Um, I think I'm stuck. We may have to spend some like coins. Open some more boxes. Maybe we'll get something good. I, I, I will take the Bentley. The Bentley is not a bad option. I will say thank you very much. Oh, it looks really good too. Oh, damn. It's a boat, but it does look cool. All right, let's go for one more. Oh, I can actually do two more. <gasps> I got another Ferrari! Holy shit! That's the F12! I didn't know I could get this. Whoa, that's sick as well. It's green. All right, I should probably stay on task, though. Continue on with our, with our California tea and keep it going here. All right. Maybe, maybe if I get the perfect launch, I can beat that. What are we up against? It is a 911R, isn't it? I'm not thinking the wrong car. Yeah, 911R. I'm like, what was that fish from Finding Nemo? Dory. I have short-term memory. Uh, mem, mem. Yeah. And I'm like the little turtle. All right. Well, this race has gone poorly. I absolutely screwed that one up. Bye, 911R. That was my fault. That was a, just a bad run. All right. There we go. Engine upgrade fitted. Thank you very much. Let's continue on with all of this. Can we not screw this one up, please? No! Slow start, okay, that's fine. Get the nitrous on early and start pulling as we're gonna need that gap. I know even with my upgraded engine, I'm not gonna have enough to pull on him, but maybe we can reduce it down. Oh yes! That was far too close for comfort, but I will take it. And finally, we got a sub 17 second time. Thank you very much. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap that one up there. I hope you enjoyed part two of this 70th anniversary of Ferrari. Again, props to the guys over at Natural Motion for sponsoring this video. Much appreciated. It makes doing what we do here possible. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button if you liked it, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>